Hey, hey, family, this is Dr. LaDre Weathers with Your Better Life Coach coming to you with today's Better Life Moment. Hey, listen, I just got a chance to get out of a session this weekend with one of my wealth coaches. So I'm going to spend the next several days sharing with you uh, the nine top financial tape wealth tapeworms. And then I added another because I got them from I got the nine from my wealth coach. So uh, I want to talk to you today about the tapeworm of taxes, the tapeworm of taxes. Now, if you know anything about tapeworms, uh, they're really, really easy to get rid of. They're really easy to deal with. You've just got to know it's a problem. And a lot of times people don't know that these are problems. So again, today's topic is taxes. Now, for the average person who has a job, W-2, what you do is you put down on paper, hey, withhold my taxes according to this amount. But most people's number is too high. Now, I'm telling you now, I'm not a tax advisor. I'm not a CPA. I'm not any of those things. But just my experience of having a job since I was 14, what you put down dictates what they take out. So stop putting down the number that's so low that they take out the amount that's so high. <laughs> I'm trying to make this really simple for you. Now, the second part of paying too much, too much in taxes is that when you go to file your taxes, again, I'm not the expert, but get the idea, you now say to the IRS and to the state of, of, of where you live, let me prove to you that what you took out was enough. And if they took out too much, you get a refund. If they took out too little, you owe. Here's my question. If we're going to have financial mastery and keep control of our money, why give away your money for free and it doesn't benefit you? That's the challenge of paying too much in taxes. Now, uh, on this specific wealth mentor of mine, Mr. Frank O'Conn, he said that the average person, if they're not careful, they can pay up to 50% of their income in taxes. Not just federal taxes, but it's federal, state, local, sales tax. I mean, all these other kinds of taxes that come up along our way. And if we're not careful, we'll end up paying up to 50% of our taxes. Now, think about how much money you make before taxes. What would your life look like if that $1,000 before taxes, 500 after taxes, became $1,000 before and $700 after? Could that, that make things happen a little bit? That's the reason I teach financial mastery. So listen, uh, make sure that you share this video with uh, your friends, your family, your circle. Uh, make sure that you share this video with those that you love and care about. Hey, and make sure you share this video with your teenagers so that they can begin the process of working without falling victim to the tapeworm. Because the tapeworm, if you, if you notice, you don't have to know you have it and it'll eat off of you and get you going and you just never know it's there. That's the challenge. But we're doing financial mastery. We're going to teach this stuff so that you can benefit and make the best decision for yourself. Why? Because when life is pretty good, a better life is always best. Blessings to you. Thank you for sharing the video. Hey, click the, click the link above or below and make sure you schedule a call with us because uh, there's so much more information attached to this concept of financial mastery and dealing with the tapeworms. Talk to you soon. Be blessed. Be well.